In recent videos, I've said both declutter your budget, simple is better, and why don't you try adding four or five different categories for your grocery shopping. So which is it? Is there a perfect number of categories for your budget? Earlier this year, I realized I needed to replace some of my pots and pans. This purchase could have come out of my grocery slash household goods category or my home upgrades category. Instead, I decided to give it its own category so I could get excited and motivated every time I added money to it. Here's my first and favorite tip to help you decide how many categories should be in your budget. Save in specific categories, spend in general ones. I used to think I wasn't good at saving money, tried to be a responsible person and send money to a savings account each month, but I never gained any real traction until I got specific. Your savings could pay for your next computer, a pair of running shoes, a house project, a cat tower, a ridiculously tall cat tower for your spoiled cat, Whatever you're saving for, it's motivating to know that you're chipping in for a future purchase that will make your life better. And being specific is what's so motivating. So what happened after I reached my saving goal for the new pans? I really didn't want that category cluttering up my budget because hopefully it'll be a long time before I have to replace these ones. Instead, I moved the pan money into home upgrades, purchased out of home upgrades and deleted pots and pans. This is a great method that I use in my budget often. If you'd like to graduate to next level savings, I'm gonna link Hannah's video on creating a wish farm in your YNAB budget. Next up, split transactions. We have a complicated history, so here's my big disclaimer, especially if you're new to budgeting. Don't make your budget require so much effort that you quit. If you're spending more time pouring over Target and Amazon purchases than you are on your financial goals, simplify. YNAB wants to help you see the big picture and get you excited for your future, not create more busy work in your life. So before you break down your Costco receipt, ask yourself, is it actually useful to know how much I've budgeted for fancy cheese or personal care products? Maybe knowing exactly what you've spent on toothpaste so far this year isn't that important. There you go. That's an easy place to simplify. Maybe though you ask yourself that question and your answer is yes, definitely. That's how I am with gaming. We're pretty much always saving up for a new game or a system that's gonna come out at the end of the year. So if I go to Target and I buy a Switch game, some cleaning supplies and home decor, I would do a split transaction because the awareness that my gaming category provides, that affects my spending behavior. Let's take a quick look at your budget. If you've got 192 categories, it makes budgeting quite the chore. There is nothing more tedious than scrolling through an endless list of categories, looking for the one you want, and it doesn't have to be this way. One solution is to pin important categories to the top of your budget in the mobile app. An even more powerful tactic is combination categories. Some YNABers combine their streaming services, so instead of having a category for Disney+, Hulu, Spotify, and Netflix, you would have one called streaming and you can use the notes section to keep yourself organized. The idea isn't to combine everything, it's to find like categories that go well together. I do this in my own budget with fun money, probably my favorite category. Here I've combined things like books, planners, stationery, I love buying page flags and sticky notes. Honestly, anything I consider fun. There's a cat cafe that I've been to in Georgetown with my mom and sister. They've been struggling during the pandemic, so to raise money, they've released branded face masks. Quick check of the fun money category and I was cleared to order a few. Remember that your budget is a living, breathing thing. Life changes and budget should too. And don't feel like you have to get things perfect today. None of these decisions are permanent, so you can play with it. If you find yourself wondering if you should or shouldn't add in a category, my advice, leave it out. If you never think about it again, you made the right call. And if you find yourself wishing you had it, you can always add it in later. I like that waiting part. It almost makes it feel like it's earning the spot in your budget. So the point is simplify where you can and always go back to the question, will adding this category actually change my behavior? I'm laughing too much. <laughs> You're not, your face isn't gonna be in it. How are you gonna crop out a video? You, don't, you can crop a video.